Hello, I'm Miss Langsner, a third grade teacher at the Doyon School, and I will be reading chapter 50 of Wish Tree. That night, many hours after the crowd had scattered, Samar slipped out the front door of the little blue house. Stephen, who'd been watching from his bedroom window, joined her moments later. They sat, silent, beneath my wish-laden boughs. The slightest breath of wind sent the index cards fluttering like huge moths. Moonlight was everywhere, it seemed, on the wishes, on my branches, on the downy-headed owlets, and the upturned gazes of Stephen and Samar. How beautiful we all were, bathed by the soft and silver light. Do you think your family will stay here? Stephen asked. After everything that's happened? I don't know, said Samar. I hope so. The breeze kicked up. Cards chattered, ribbons danced. A scrap of notebook paper, loosely tied with red yarn to my lowest branch, broke free. Samar snatched it as it swooped past. She squinted at the scribbled writing. Then she stood, carefully tying the paper back onto my branch. What was the wish for? Stephen asked. An invisible robot that does homework? Seems unlikely. True. Samar leaned against my trunk and smiled. But then, so does a talking tree.